year, G20 Indonesia holds its presidency and brings the theme Recovery Together, Recovery Stronger. As Portrait Indonesia, how do you make sense of this theme and how do you project this to our future situation? Adina sudah menerima pertanyaan dengan baik. Waktumu 30 detik untuk menjawab dimulai dari sekarang. This G20 summit right here upholds the spirit of collaboration and empowerment, which in line with the Yayasan Putih Indonesia's values. So I'm here to tell you that this is our time to show that collaboration and empowerment is our way to recover stronger and recover together. So Indonesia and our economic stability could grow and recover together. Thank you. Dan juri Budi Gunadi Sadikin, Menkes kita akan bertanya. Silakan, Pak Menkes. Because if he is the doctor, maybe the question is asked to me. Sini from your name saya bertanya dalam bahasa Indonesia. Berdasarkan data survei status gizi balita Indonesia tahun 2020. Stunting saat ini berada di angka 24 persen atau 5 juta berita. Nah ini permintaan Presiden Joko Widodo harus diturunkan menjadi 14 persen di tahun 2024. Sebagai putri Indonesia, sinergi apa yang Anda usulkan dalam meningkatkan kesadaran masyarakat untuk membantu program pemerintah bebas stunting 2024? I know you can answer in English. Tapi, if you can answer Indonesian, I would be more prepared. Thank you. Sudah mengerti, sudah paham pertanyaannya? Sudah. Sudah siap? Sudah. Baiklah. Waktunya dimulai dari sekarang. Izinkan saya untuk menjawab dalam bahasa Inggris. The way, the solution for this is to give education, to provide education about the proper nutrition for pregnant and lactating women. And for the economy solution, we can give a training for each individual in order to maximize their potential. Thank you. Bapak Triawan Munaf. Kami persilakan, Pak, berikan pertanyaannya. Hi, Rasmi. Oke, okay, pertanyaan saya dalam bahasa Inggris Bisa jawab bahasa Indonesia, bahasa Inggris, maupun bahasa Bali Bicara <laughs> saya okay. With the loosening regulations in tackling the spread of COVID Where people now can take off masks outside They are getting positive response from the community especially optimism in economic development. One of which is the in the tourism sector, Bali. In your opinion, is this new regulation serves an opportunity or a challenge for the Indonesian tourism sector? Please answer. This new regulation is a golden opportunity that we should take advantage of. It's a great momentum to grow our tourism industry, especially in islands like Bali and the new five priority islands. And we should take this momentum to attract not just foreign tourists, but also local tourists and help support and grow local businesses that need our emergent help right now. And I think that's what we should do and that will help grow our economy. Thank you. Juri Puan Maharani, Ibu Kemen. Satu ya. Selamat malam. Pertanya, ya, pertanyaannya adalah, di tahun-tahun mendatang, Ibu Kota Indonesia secara bertahap akan dipindahkan di Kalimantan. Menurut Anda, peluang apa yang akan dibawa bagi bangsa kita dalam hal ekonomi, pariwisata, dan budaya boleh dijawab bahasa Inggris, boleh dijawab bahasa Indonesia. Silakan. Sudah dipahami pertanyaannya? Paham. Siap. Menjawab dalam waktu 30 detik dari. I believe the relocation of the new capital city is a great change to empower the economic stability in terms of logistics 
tourism and infrastructure. This new capital city will also be the new green technology, which is the first city. That is why I believe this nation it will be empowered to achieve a better economy for the world. Thank you. Okay, Bineka Tunggal Ika means unity in diversity as the principle and motto for our nation, Indonesia. How do you think Bineka Tunggal Ika can be a mediator in responding to the intolerance issue that is currently happening in our society? Sudah pahami pertanyaannya? Sudah setia? Mainkan. Izinkan saya menjawab dalam bahasa Indonesia Saya percaya bahwa filosofi dari Bineka Tunggal Ika akan mengingatkan kembali kepada kita semua Betapa pentingnya menghargai perbedaan dan menjunjung tinggi persatuan Oleh karena itu persoalan intoleransi akan menjauhkan kita semua dari perpecahan Oleh karena itu junjunglah bersama Bineka Tunggal Ika berbeda-beda tetapi tetap satu juga Indonesia Hidup ini ketua Terima kasih. Hidup ini ketua Untuk Siti Torn, Lina, Halo. Halo, Sawadika. Halo, Sawadika. Apa yang ingin anda ajarkan kepada anda yang muda tentang bangunan muda? Sudah didapat pertanyaan dengan baik? Sudah. Waktunya menjawab ya. 30 detik dari sekarang. The concept of beauty has indeed evolving and changing from time to time. And to me, modern beauty means embracing inclusivity. And therefore, what shape you are, what sizes you wear, what color of your hair is, as long as you embrace it and you own it, that is indeed it is modern beauty. And I want to remind every single one of you that beauty belongs to every single one of you in this universe. Yeah!